What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to week three of the UPL season one. I am your coach for the St. John's Sharpedos and uh, before we get into the battle, I just want to do a very quick housekeeping item that I wanted to that I want to do before literally just before we do the battle and that is explaining why there is no week one or week two battles. Um, I might have already explained week one before, um, but let me very, very quick re recap. When we did, when we started the UPL, I was unsure if I wanted to, uh, record it. It wasn't until after I did the battle, um, it wasn't until after I did the battle that I wanted to, uh, record them. And I legitimately tried to record it, legitimately. But as it turns out, I'm not all that great when it comes to uh, recording post commentary, especially when it comes to Pokemon. So unfortunately, there was there's not going to be a video there. However, in the in the description of this video, I will put up the video link of the person that I did fight in week one. Um. So that, uh, at least then, you guys do have a video, it's just not from my perspective, it's going to be from his. My opponent was, um, Arzit. Um, and yes, he actually, he actually pronounces the two T's. <laughs> um, but just a forewarning, I did get swept. Just saying. Um, anyway, so that's that. So the link to his battle will be in, this, in the description of this video if you guys want to watch it. And um, next thing, week two. The reason why there's no week two battles is because there was, unfortunately, there was no week two battle. The reason why was that the person I was supposed to fight ended up dropping out literally at the last possible moment. Um, I'm not going to say his name. Um, but basically, he was unable to find time throughout the entirety of week two. Uh, I was messaging him, and he was unable to, um, to schedule a fight, let alone have it. Um, so I went to, um, I went to, um, I went to Kraft, which is the guy that organized the, uh, the UPL. And I was like, I can't get a hold of this guy. Anyway, so turns out he couldn't find the time and he left. He left the league, literally at the last possible moment. We we're supposed to have our fights basically done by midnight Saturday, which sucks for me because it's midnight for me before it's midnight for everyone else. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, he li literally, as of like midnight on Saturday, or may could have been like 12:30 Sunday morning, um, he was gone. So, I spent the entirety, I, I could, while well, I could have been preparing for week three, anyway, that's besides the point. Anyway, that's, that's literally the only things that I just want to talk about before getting into week three battle. So, um, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will, uh, I will see you during the battle. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome to week three of the UPL season one. I'm the I'm your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, and today we are playing against Pixlet of the Toronto Two Cannons. Um, if you guys want to see, oh, I gotta fix this up for a second. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, if you guys want to see uh, the team that we are playing with this week, be sure to check literally underneath my face and see what we got here. Magnazone, I figured he was going to be bringing in the Charizard. I honestly believe that. Um, uh... What I should do, start with Landmine. I don't know who he's going to start off with. 
maybe Porygon. I'm not sure who he's gonna start with. We got Mag we got Magnezone, Mega Sableye, Metagross, Porygon 2, Charizard, which I believe is also Mega. No, because he brought in his Mega Sableye, so it's no right, it's a regular Charizard and Deontay. I'm bringing, I am bringing Togekiss, Quagsire, Mimikyu, um, Turtonator, Komala, and Rotom Fan. Let's, who do I want to start off with? Um... I'm gonna start with... I think I'm gonna start with Komala. Sableye. Alright. Uh, I think... Should I start with Play Rough? Mm, let's start with Play Rough, see what happens. He's faking out. <laughs> okay. Um, who is it that I have for... <sighs> He's Ghost and Dark. Uh... Let's go with U-Turn. Pretty mega, I guess. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> um... Let's send out. I'm gonna send out to uh, Turtonator. See what happens. <sighs> I'm trying to remember what it was I did for his Sableye. You know what? Let's just pre press the big red button. Let's go with the Draco Meteor. See what happens. Because if he sent... Oh, Porygon 2, Draco Meteor. Should kill... No, okay. I figured it wasn't going to kill. Let's... Uh, who is it that I had for his... Let's go with Togekiss because Aurasphere should be able to do Porygon in a couple of hits at most. So let's do Aurasphere. Only 28%. Oh my lord. There's the poison. You know what? Let's go with Air Slash. Get the flinch. Oh, you. <laughs> yes, recover. Oh, I wasn't expecting the recover. Shoot! Okay, let's go with Air Slash again. Get the flinch. No, no flinch. Shit. <sighs> Try to get the flinch. <laughs> um. Let's go with number one fan. Which is our Rotom. See what see what we can do. Cause it's only he's only normal type. I shouldn't I should be able, let's go with Air Slash again. Recover stall. I knew that's what he was doing too. See if we can get some sort of paralyze, maybe. There's the toxic. Missed. Air slash, maybe flinch. Damn it! Oh, what are we going to do? Let's try and see if I can get the Paralyze. Because eventually... Air. Uh, can we get... A, can I get a flinch? Yes! Thank you! Jeez. Finally! <laughs> I'm also talking to him on Showdown as well, so I mean, 
finally got the flinch. Oh my god. Now, there are two ways I can go about this. I can go for another Air Slash. Air Slash did 21%. Let's go with Air Slash again. Maybe get the flinch. Yes! Two flinches in a row! <laughs> Flitches in a row. That's amazing. And let's volt switch out. Oh, there's a Magna Zone. I fi I <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I should have hard switched though. Magna Zone. Um, Electric Steel. Like, there's a couple things I can do. I could could go with Netbig because his speed isn't really all that. Great. Go with Nepic and go with an Earthquake unless he has Electromagnetism. See what happens. Let's go with Earthquake. See what happens. Come on. Watch it now. He's going to go with Charizard. Watch it now. It's going to happen. Come on. Flash Cannon. Earthquake. Juice! Okay, Charizard. I do have the Stone Edge for the Charizard. Let's bring out, so let's bring out Turtonator, or Landmine as I call them. Try and see if we can get the Stone Edge. Can, can we hit the Stone Edge? Please let me hit the Stone Edge. There's a Dragon Ball, Ooh! Ooh, please hit it. Yes! Seven percent. How? <laughs> I'm messaging him now. I just go. How? How did I live that? <laughs> Porygon two. There isn't really much that Porygon can really do to me at this point. So. <laughs> okay. So. Landmine or uh, Terminator pretty much has done what I wanted to do because I knew that Charizard was going to be a threat. Uh, Porygon 2, I can go... I could go to Komala and probably do a U-turn. Or even a Sucker Punch. He's probably going to Ice Beam. There's a Recover. I figured he was going to Recover. Um, let's go Rock Slide. Can we get the flinch? Man! <laughs> I am getting all the flinches! What the hell? What the... <laughs> I wasn't expecting the flinch! <laughs> oh, what is this right now? Okay. Um... I can go with a play rough. He's probably gonna recover. Let's go with the play rough. Okay. Yeah, recover. Um. I could go in with Mimikyu and Toxic it. Cause I know he has I know he has Ice Beam. Um Let's go with Mimikyu. There's a Tri-Attack. Immune. So, ah, it's immune. Um, let's go with the Toxic. Let's poison him. There's the Ice Beam. Disguise. Um, I'm almost tempted to sack off Turtonator. You know what? Let's do it. He's going to Ice Beam. I want to keep Mimikyu. I want to keep the Mimikyu in. So let's sacrifice. Oh, we're living on one. Oh, boy. That Porygon is definitely going to be faster, though. Um... So let's flamethrower. He's recovering. I call. I knew it too. 
and the poison's gonna take out Terminator. <sighs> what do we got? He has, still has a Mega, Mega Sableye, and we haven't seen the Met, and we only haven't seen the Metagross or the Deontay yet. <sighs> Can I hit Porygon too? Yes, he has Shell Armor. He has Shell Armor now. Um, let's go with Mepic, our Quagsire. Um, let's go with Waterfall. He's going to recover. I figure that eventually, eventually, that poison will take him. Because, I mean, now the poison's doing... 16%. So let's go recover. That poison's going... <laughs> doing... That Porygon... Is... That Porygon's not living for much longer. Let's go with the Waterfall. He's going to recover. It's Waterfall. The poison should take him out. Nope. Not quite. Let's recover. Because he's going to recover too at this point. <laughs> or at least, I, or at least I think he's going to recover. No, he's bringing out the Sableye. All right. Um, Sableye loses speed when he Mega evolves, I believe. So if I Waterfall him. I mean, we also know he has fake out. He's probably going to fake me out. I'm going to go to Kamala. He's probably going to fake me out. Oh, shoot. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Hmm. Let's go with the play rough. See what we do. Not enough. He's going to take me out here. All right. Um, let's go in the Mimikyu. One more play rough should take out should take out Sableye. It should. And then when it comes to Metagross, I could Leech Life it. Actually, no. Oh, there goes the port. Here comes the Porygon 2. Porygon 2 goes down. And here's the Deontay. That Deontay. There's a couple of things I can do. <sighs> Clear body. He's probably going to do some Leech Life. See what, see what he's going to do. Trick Room. Now, now the question is... Did I give him? I gave him max speed. Let's go into Nepic. There's the moon. Ooh, I was not expecting that. All right, Mimikyu. Let's go. Let's do this. Fairy Rock. Let's go Shadow Claw. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. He got good game. That was a good game, man. Let's go with the Leech Life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do. Oh, well, that was a thing. Anyway, so that's been week three. Unfortunately, we are now at uh, one win, two losses, which is not bad considering. But, oh, well, what can you do? Um... Uh, good game to Pixlet and um, Porygon, Porygon stall OP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's been our fight for this week. And good, like I said before, good game to Pixlet and yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, like I, unfortunately, like I said, we lost, but it was a good battle. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave that, click that like button like you never clicked it before. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this. Or if you're following this over on Vidme, be sure to hit that upvote and follow for the same reasons as before for YouTube. Until then, guys, I will see you in the next video.